it's really exciting that we've made it to 10 years. We've had we've had some growing pains over the years. Like there were years where we were worried that you know the, the involvement wasn't wasn't as good. It started out quite slow, and it was a four day a week commitment. So it was it was a quite a heavy commitment. And we were trying to get more kids from Cattery School involved. And we we had one day where they were here at our school, and then the other days where they were going to Garianuha. It's worked well at both schools. And then we had a, a bit of a decline because people felt that four days a week was a little too much. So we kept trying to accommodate and do different things with the program. And um, we moved it down to two days a week. And now this year, we were able to promote it quite a bit. At the beginning of the year, I, I, I sent out a lot of messages and we ended up with like 32 children. So I think that's probably a record for us. I think it's probably our biggest group yet. And they were so excited to get their violins and they're just starting to really learn how to bow. And it's a long process. It's not an easy thing, but it's such a gift. Like for kids to be able to do private lessons for any instrument, it's the cost is usually astronomical. It's like a burden on families normally if they want to put their kids in music. And then to, to buy an instrument, like the average violin is a, a couple hundred dollars at least. And then they grow. <laughs> and, and then their violin has to grow with them. So it's such a, such a blessing that they have lessons for free and a, an instrument given to them and the opportunity to do it right here after school, like as a fun after school program. We also emphasize a lot on the development of social skills. So like leadership skills, uh, responsibility, empathy, and also um, collaboration. And actually like this is something that is uh, very um, heartwarming uh, as a teacher to see them get motivate each other and uh, cheer each other and help each other and also just uh, you know get to make new friendships and have fun so this is uh, this is uh, our wish uh, as a sistema teacher to have them use these abilities and values that they acquire here uh, to help them um, develop their full potential and um, influence positively their uh, community and the surrounding. At first it's hard and I didn't think I was going to like it when I brought it home and I tried it but it's really really fun once you start to practice and get better at it. Um, the one thing I like about this violin program is I like that you can play instruments and you can make your own sounds and you can present them to anyone. To anyone. It's pretty fun to come here. You'll get a lot of confidence in yourself. Um, I really like it. I like playing the violin and practicing at home and I get to show the new people um, how to play since I was here last year. It's, it's really incredible to have this program for 10 years, considering that we went through hard times with COVID and we were still able to make uh, Encore Sistema happen. Uh, mind you, we had a lot less students participate, but we did offer the program online and still do. Uh, we have um, what we call a hybrid program where this year we do one day orchestra and the rest online. And it takes um, a lot of dedication from the teachers, uh, from definitely from Penny. So to keep our partnership going, it takes dedication from the community, from our parents who continue to send our, their children to the program. And I hope it continues for a, uh, a long time. Mm -hmm.